What if you had a time machine and you could go to the near future? Precisely to the year 2030. What would you find if you stepped out of that time machine? Obviously, you'll see 2030 looks a lot different from 2020 or even 2025. But the question here is how different? How advanced would we have gotten in regards to AI and robots? What is even better? Our answer will not be hypothetical. Artificial intelligence and life in 2030 is the first product of the 100-year study on artificial intelligence, or AI 100, an ongoing project hosted by Stanford University to inform debate and provide guidance on the ethical development of smart software, sensors, and machines. The project mandates that every five years for the next 100 years, the AI 100 organizers and participants will release a report that evaluates the status of AI technologies and their potential impact on the world. The report investigates eight areas of human activity in which AI technologies are already affecting urban life and will be even more pervasive by 2030, transportation, home service robots, healthcare, education, entertainment, low resource communities, public safety and security, employment, and the workplace. Let's get into this hypothetical future then. One of the most important things AI and robotics would affect the most in 2030 will be our relationship with work. These days, work is more rewarding because the fourth industrial revolution technologies would have largely removed the monotony in work. And because they don't do as much work, people would be healthier, get around easier, and would have almost gotten used to all the drones. Work would have been reshaped by four IR technologies including artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics, all working in tandem. Office workers would no longer be subjected to the grueling mundane tasks of data entry and document reviews because intelligent automation solutions can read even complex, unstructured content and deal with it effectively. Intelligent apps can even sequester just the important emails in your inbox. According to Paul Seville, the Senior Vice President for Products and Services at Lumen Technologies, Instead of data being centralized in a data center or even in a cloud where you can store it in there in the cheapest manner, in the fourth industrial revolution, data must reside, be used, and be accessed everywhere. With our data problem cleared, we humans will focus on important strategic endeavors. And since we would have so many digital tools at our disposal to help with decision making, it would become easier to predict and process how changes, systems, and even building infrastructure will work out. In the factories and warehouses of the future, robotics would have proven to be a game changer. Sensors and robots combined with local edge and cloud-based machine language applications to help the robots react according to changes in their environment, freeing them up to perform almost any task we want them to, thereby relieving humans of the most repetitive and sometimes dangerous tasks while also lowering costs. By 2030, many warehouses will be fully autonomous, with only one or two humans keeping an eye on things. Inevitably, this would mean all those robots would have taken jobs that once belonged to humans. But thanks in large part to AR VR technology, we would have gotten much better at helping folks retrain for better paying, more rewarding work. The renewable energy sector would just be booming, for example, as will tech. Even with AI, ML, and predictive maintenance, it would still take a ton of specially trained people to deploy all these four IR systems and keep them up and running. 4IR technology would also be integrated into rural areas. Sensors and applications would enable farmers to monitor metrics like soil moisture and weather. Farmers would now routinely have IT staff to implement tools that lead to more informed decisions, increased yields, and improved productivity. It is some leap from the tractor, but some of these data reading technologies are already around and available in cruder versions already. Similarly, AI-powered drones would help farmers and others, such as utilities, keep an eye on their vast infrastructure. For example, drones equipped with thermal imaging systems help utilities identify potential leaks and other issues with their pipelines. In urban areas, there would be vehicles with no people in them or with drivers who are disengaged from the vehicle, meaning the vehicle would be automated. 
It would probably take longer than the likes of Elon Musk envisioned it to, but by 2030, autonomous vehicles will be common, especially in cities, because they work better in well-defined areas. All the major automakers would probably own transportation services that utilize autonomous vehicles, and while the cars would be popular, they will still be quite expensive as they are today. Another certainty is that we would not have solved our traffic problem, because we can't until we are 100% autonomous. Human drivers would know that autonomous cars will stop and act accordingly, and they would try to exploit that. This would undoubtedly cause accidents. However, if a driver gets in an accident, he wouldn't be too worried because the healthcare system is vastly improved. Medicine is now highly personalized, secure, and confidential. At birth, everyone would get their genome sequenced, and this combined with predictive AI-based applications and advanced security and privacy measures would help doctors accurately predict which medicines would work best for any given condition and which diseases a patient may be at risk for. Telemedicine would be the order of the day, so office visits wouldn't be as required as now. Over the next 15 years, advances in AI and mechanical technologies would result in a safer and more reliable line of home-dwelling robots. Potential applications of such robots would include package delivery, cleaning, and security. With access to various cloud-based networks, they might spend days entertaining us. Imagine watching Netflix on a robot screen without having to change films, because it can accurately predict your film patterns. However, the development of highly reliable service robots will slow a full rollout of robot companions. Cooperative AI learning from cloud shared data will enhance machine learning. For example, NASA has developed a cloud-based AI called Audrey, a self-learning AI designed to help emergency service providers. This could be deployed in a firefight, for example. Robot arms are being used in research labs globally. We've already welcomed robots into our homes in the form of Roombas. 16 million of them are helping us keep our floors clean. In the future, advances in technology would allow us to more fully interact with robot companions. Precision, entertainment, efficiency, reliability, collaboration, and increased human mobility are only a few societal changes we'll see as AI grows in complexity, sophistication, and, well, intelligence. One thing is clear, AI is going to become a fully integrated part of our society and we must prepare to adapt as necessary. Some of the biggest challenges in the next 15 years will be creating safe and reliable hardware for autonomous cars, gaining public trust for AI systems, especially in low-resource communities, and overcoming fears that the technology will marginalize humans in the workplace. Most of us have seen or at least heard of the Terminator movies or general futuristic movies where AI-powered robots rise up to destroy humanity. However interesting the idea, this seems highly unlikely. The frightening futurist portrayals of artificial intelligence that dominate films and novels and shape the popular imagination are fictional, according to a Stanford study. In reality, AI is already changing our daily lives, almost entirely in ways that improve human health, safety, and productivity, the study concluded. While it might sound like an understatement, the fear of AI is irrational. There will be issues of liability and accountability. Questions such as, who should be held responsible when a self-driven car crashes or an intelligent medical device fails? How can we prevent AI applications from being used for racial discrimination or financial cheating? These are questions for ethicists, scientists, policymakers, industry leaders, and the general public. There will be challenges that we cannot predict, as governments and the workforce will have to adapt to AI's effects on industry and commerce, but it will certainly not be the fighting off killer robots in a post-apocalyptic wasteland kind. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribe to the channel. Let us know how you think the world will look in 2030.